So here are the two most common types of nozzles. On my left is the Creality Mark 8 or MK8 style. And on the right is of course the E3D V6, uh, RepRap, whatever you want to call it. Um, they both use M6 thread, so you'll find that you can screw one into the other. But the one on the right, of course, has a longer threaded section. I wanted a 0.5 millimeter size. I wanted a uh, abrasive compatible nozzle. So in other words, hardened steel. And I really wanted the CHT type, you know, internal splitter there. Problem was that only existed for these V6 style nozzles at the time of this filming. So at first I simply installed that V6 style nozzle and it went together. Plenty of successful prints. However, I was a little bit unhappy about the two to three millimeter gap between the bottom of the heat block and the top of this um, machine text profile of the nozzle itself. Being a hardened steel nozzle, I thought there's already sort of a conductivity challenge. So I got a very thin jam nut it's actually made of brass online from bellmetric.com. I, I had to sand it down for about two or three minutes just on some 80 grit sandpaper to make it about 2.4 millimeters. And I went ahead and threaded that onto the nozzle. I uh, hot tightened the nozzle in. Um, the nut could still be spun each way about half a turn. And then when it was hot tightened, I simply snugged that nut up against the heat block side of things. So now this acts as a thermal mass that'll help with my hardened steel nozzle having a little bit more thermal inertia. And on the heat sock, um, all I did was, I don't know if you can see it, but I just used some side cutters to simply put a chamfer on the inside of that there. And this, this goes on with no problems now, or at least I'm content with it. It fits over just fine.